I think Rose. Okay, here's a question. She spells it with a, a like a what do you call it? A thingamajigger on top of the e. The accent. The ac- Why can't I think today? It's an accent on top of the e. So in my head, I'm just like, okay, it's Rose. But then I'm like, she has an accent. Do I have to call her Rose? If you <laughs> if you see an accent, if you see an accent on top of the e, you're assuming that it should be Rose. I'm just curious. But anyways, that's a stupid sidetrack. Um, very, very talented ladies. Rose was born in New Zealand and grew up in Australia, so she has that awesome Aussie accent. I personally just really love Rose's voice. She has like this crazy tone that kind of gives me shivers, and then she does this bending when she sings that goes up, which is a very like stylistically, I want to I wanna say it's kind of like a... Like, I feel like YG was really good at doing that, but she's kind of made it her own thing as well. Like, if you guys are vocalists, you guys know what I'm talking about. But when you sing a song, when you sing a certain word, there's bending in a note. But she has a really, she does a really good job of bending notes up. If you guys want to study music, that's, I'm just saying. (laughs) But because you have to be able to banter in English with somebody, we're going to put Rosé of Blackpink. And we're going to put Lisa in because we want the super international group. I would put Red Velvet, like, Sergi and Wendy in there. Oh god, that's so many power vocals. Hold on. We got we to gotta, we gotta pare this down. We gotta take these down just a little bit. All right. I would put in Rosé, Lisa, Wendy, Sergi, and then uh, Ailey. Oh. That'd be crazy. Yeah. I would I would want in my group. Huaza. How about like uh Jenny? No, Jenny and Rose. And it's called Black Pinky. So it's black pink with a dash E at the end. So it's ah. black pinky. Um